Oh my god, Fiona, how could you do this to me? How could I do what to you, Andy? Oh, don't act like you don't know. How could you exclude me from the shopping trip you guys went on today? You know I love shopping. Not to mention that it was incredibly rude and hurtful of you to do that to me. What kind of friend even are you to just leave someone out like that? I didn't leave you out, Andy. I told you the other day that me and the girls were going shopping today and that we would be going early because Sasha and Amy have plans for the afternoon. You were invited. It's not my fault that you didn't show up. Yes, it is. You know that I don't really do early mornings. You all should have just waited for me until I was ready. Andy, knowing you, that would have taken hours. I bet you didn't even wake up until like, maybe an hour ago. Am I right? We have been here since nine to make sure that we could go everywhere that we needed to go. I don't care what time you got there. It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that I should have been there too. But no, you were too busy excluding me and probably laughing about me behind my back. Is that what you did? Laugh at how you were excluding me from all the fun? That's a really horrible thing to do, FYI. No one was laughing at you, Andy. In fact, we were all really annoyed at you. I messaged so many times this morning to see where you were. We even waited around outside for like half an hour before realizing that you simply weren't going to show again. We can't all live our lives according to your timetable, Andy. If you want to join in, then you'll need to learn to compromise and fit in with everyone so that we can make plans that suit everyone. We're all very busy people and we don't have time to wait around for hours on end until you decide that it's time to grace us with your presence. Oh, so basically what you're saying is that you're better than me because you have busier lives and that I'm just a lazy loser who no one wants to hang out with? Is that it? What? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying you need to compromise and actually try if you want to be part of events and outings like these. Ugh, whatever. We both know that I'm way better than you or anyone else, Fiona. You should all be worshipping the ground that I walk on and feel honored that you have to wait for me. My presence makes everyone's lives better. Just because you losers are jealous of me doesn't give you the right to just ditch me like you did. Whoa, I think it may be time to get off your high horse. And when did I ever say that I was jealous of you? You don't need to say it. I just know that it's true. We both know that I'm so much better than you. I'm prettier, hotter, richer, and loads more. All of the boys would much rather talk to me than even give you or any of the other girls a second glance. That's why you're trying to exclude me from everything. It's sad and pathetic that you would stoop so low just to try and make yourself feel better than you actually are. You want to know why we weren't bothered if you showed up today or not? It's because of this stupid, arrogant attitude of yours where you think that you're so much better than anyone else around you. You're insufferable. Huh? I don't even know what that means. Big surprise there. You know, this snarky, sarcastic attitude of yours is really not that flattering for you. Maybe you should work on yourself before you start trying to lecture me about how I behave. And if anything, you should be singing my praises. If it weren't for me, then you would be one of the nobodies of the world. Worthless and ignored. At least when I'm around, people actually pay attention to you. So you should be thanking me for making your life better. Making my life better? You really haven't done that, Andy. If anything, you've made it worse. No one wants to talk to me when you're around. Well, that's to be expected. I am gorgeous. It's not because of that. It's because of your obnoxious and bratty attitude. You scare everyone off. No one can stand your behavior when you're constantly looking down your nose at them. That's not how people feel. I know it's not. You're just trying to make me feel insecure about myself. Well, it's not going to work. I know that everyone loves me. I can't help it if you're just jealous of me. Honestly, it's really unattractive. Sort yourself out, Fiona, and maybe you'll actually have some luck in finding a boyfriend. You know what, Andy? That's it. Me and the girls were talking today, and we've decided that we don't want you to come on this holiday with us. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. What? You can't do that. That's discrimination. What? No, it's not. Yes, it is. You're discriminating against me because of my beauty and natural ability to draw anyone and everyone towards me. You're all just jealous that you can't do the same, so you want to get rid of me. It's not fair. Why should I be excluded simply because all of you can't handle the fact that I'm better than you? Suck it up and deal with it. As I've already told you, that's not the reason why we want you not to come. Have you not been listening to a word I've been saying? Why should I? It's all boring anyway. I just know that you're persecuting me because of my looks and how much better I am at everything than you are. But really, you and the rest of the girls should be begging for me to come. And why is that? Well, at least that way you might actually get to talk to a guy. If I let you. Obviously, they'll all be surrounding me. But if I make it clear that I'm not interested in them, I'm sure you can pick up my scraps. 
That's what a good doggy does. Are you actually calling me a dog? Well, you've got the looks of one. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm done with talking to you. Goodbye. Wait, Fiona, don't go. I was just joking. You don't look that bad. Please, just let me come on the holiday. I've been looking forward to it. I will only let you come if you promise to drop the bratty and horrible attitude and if you promise to meet us on time. Got it? Yeah, yeah, whatever, fine. I'll do that. Well, I'm just letting you know that if you're not at the airport at the same time as all of us, we're not waiting around for you. As soon as that plane is boarding, me and everyone else are getting on it and going on holiday. Yes, I get it. I've already said that I'll be on time. There's no need to keep repeating it like I'm dumb or something. Okay then. The flight's at 10 a.m., so we're all meeting at the airport at 8, so that we have enough time to get through security and to our gate without having to rush. So meet us near the entrance of the airport at 8. Whoa, do you mean 8 a.m.? As in the morning? Yeah. I literally just told you that I don't do mornings. You'll have to change the time. Andy, the tickets are already booked and paid for. There's no changing the flight. It'll cost way too much to get a later flight now, and we wouldn't even be able to get a refund on the tickets we already have. We all already agreed that this was the best time for the flight, so you'll just have to compromise and try to get there on time. Ugh, fine. Okay then, I'll see you at the airport then. Remember, 8 a.m. Yes, yes, okay. Morning, Fee. I can't wait to go on holiday today, so I know it's a little bit later than what we said, but I overslept a little bit. I'm just going to finish up packing and I'll be on my way. I think everything will probably take me around six hours, give or take. There are a few things I need to do before I leave. Andy, it's 11.30. Yeah, I know. I mean, I know you said that we were all meeting at 8 or whatever, but I couldn't make it. I just couldn't force myself to get out of bed. I figured a couple more hours wouldn't hurt. You guys will just wait for me anyway, right? For six hours? Yeah. <laughs> Not a chance. What? Me and the girls aren't going to wait around for six hours for you. Do you really think we're that insane? But I'm the one you all worship. I'm the only one who'll make this whole holiday worthwhile. You can't go without me. Too late. What are you on about? We already left. What do you mean you've already left? Why would you do that? Um, because the plane was at 10 a.m. this morning? I told you that we wouldn't be waiting around for you. It's your fault if you didn't believe me. I can't believe you've done this to me. What kind of friend are you? Let's face it, Andy. We're not actually friends. Well, at least you've got that right. If anything, you guys are more like my little minions to do whatever I tell you to do. Which I'm pretty sure was to wait for me no matter what. We're not your minions, and we never agreed that we'd wait for you. I explicitly told you that we would do the exact opposite. You are so mean. I'll be telling my dad all about this. Go ahead and tell your dad. Although you might also want to tell him your little secret. And what's that little secret then? That you're dating his boss. What? How did you know about that? Oh, please. It's so easy to see. Not to mention that my friend works for the same company and he's seen you sneaking into the guy's office. I'm surprised your dad hasn't caught you, to be honest. You can't tell my dad anything about that. He would freak out. Not to mention that he would totally quit his job if he knew. We really need the money as well. Hey, I like your dad, so I think he deserves to know the truth. But it's not my place to say anything. Maybe you can grow conscious and tell him yourself. You know, before you're late for a much more important date due to his boss, if you know what I mean. Oh my god, how did you know? Oh wow, I was just joking, but it's actually true. Well, good luck explaining that one to your dad. Anyway, me and the girls are about to go and enjoy a lovely time by the pool. Don't message me anymore. Oh, and if you hadn't realized, we're not friends anymore, so stop trying to boss me around. Besides, from the sound of things, you've got bigger problems on your hands. Ugh, I swear, Fee, that's it. We're no longer friends. I just said that. Whatever. Girls like you are a dime a dozen. I can have a new friend in no time. Whatever you say. Anyway, goodbye. After my holidays with my friends, I returned home to discover that Andy's secret had gotten out and had not gone down well with her dad. The man had basically kicked Andy out of his home due to what she had done. As well as that, her boyfriend had dumped her after finding out that she was pregnant and he didn't want his wife to find out. Andy was basically forced to finally grow up as she now had a little life growing inside of her who depended on her acting like a mature adult. 
As for me, I decided not to get back in contact with Andy. I didn't like the way that she treated me and I knew that I deserved better. Sometimes you just need to get rid of the negativity in your life, even if that is people. Can you believe it, babe? After seven long years, you're finally going to graduate college with a doctorate. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Allie. I know, it's kind of surreal. I can't actually believe that all my hard work is finally paying off and I'm actually going to be able to graduate. I've been looking forward to this date for ages. I know, I have as well. I bet I know why you've been looking forward to me finally graduating. Um, yeah, I promised that I wouldn't mention anything about our wedding until you graduated. And, well, guess what? You're graduating! So I can now go on full bride mode and finally get started on planning our wedding. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I know. I am too. Feels nice to actually start living our lives. I'm sorry I made you wait so long to get married though. I know you would have done it ages ago if you could have. It's okay. It made sense that you finished college first before we started planning our wedding. You needed to be able to concentrate on your assignments and work there. Now, we can actually have the wedding we want without having to worry about you failing any tests or anything, lol. That is one of the things I'm most grateful for. No more tests. I mean, apart from all the tests I'll have to administer on my patients, but hey, at least I don't have to take them. <laughs> <laughs> so, when is your graduation ceremony, anyway? Oh, I think it's sometime in July? How come? Oh, well, you know... I wanted to make sure that I could book the day off of work so that I could come and see you walk across that stage and get your diploma. It's one of the most important days in your life, after all. Oh, wow. I'd love for you to be there if you could. I'll give you the official day once I know it. Of course I'll be there. I can't let my husband-to-be graduate without cheering him on. By cheering, you mean silently waving or at most clapping along with the rest of the crowd? Nope, I mean cheering loudly and proudly like a crazed fangirl. Oh joy. You know you love it. Anyway, do you know how many people can come and watch you graduate? Like, is there a set amount or can anyone come? I'm not sure. I think there might be a limited amount of free tickets available per graduate, but I think there are tickets that can be bought as well. How come? Well, my dad said that he liked to come and cheer you on as well. He likes you, you know? In the short amount of time that you've seen each other, and he wanted to see you graduate too. I mean, you're going to be his son-in-law soon enough. Oh, wow, that's really cool of him. Yeah, it is quite sweet. Secretly, I think he just wants to get onto the campus and have a look around for himself to see what all the big fuss is about, and whether or not he missed out on anything, lol. Huh? What do you mean, missed out on anything? Oh yeah, you don't know. My dad didn't go to college. What? Yeah, he kind of skipped that whole thing and went straight to work. I think by going to your graduation, he just wants to snoop about the place and see what all of the hype is about. Honestly, I don't think he really missed much. At least not for him anyway. So, your dad doesn't have a college degree? Uh, we... That's... kinda... I don't know... pathetic? Excuse you? Well, I just mean that anyone who wants a job worth anything needs a college degree. Otherwise, you just end up a loser in a dead-end job with no chance to move anywhere or further your career. Only the dumbest or laziest don't go to college. Wow, are you really saying that my dad is either dumb or lazy because he didn't go to college? Well, I don't know. Maybe? I mean, he seems like a reasonable guy, so I just don't get why he didn't go to college. It's not that hard to get into one if you actually try, and if you have even a little bit of smarts about you. Um, Billy, I'm going to have to go now because if I don't, I'm going to end up yelling at you. A lot. What, simply because I'm telling the truth? I'm sorry if you don't like it, but it's a fact. Only those who go to college can achieve anything in life. Those who don't are the bottom of society and don't deserve to get anything more than minimum wage. If they're not willing to put in the effort to learn and better themselves, then they shouldn't be paid any more than that. Where has all of this come from? I never knew that you were so elitist. It's not elitist to be smart or to want to do well in life. No, 
but it is elitist when you spout off rubbish like you just did, saying that people shouldn't be able to earn above minimum wage if they haven't been to college is ridiculous. There are so many people in the world, successful people, who haven't been to college and they are doing better than most. Going to college isn't the be all or end all of someone's life. College is the best way to determine someone's worth and value in life. If they don't go to college, whether through choice or because they simply can't afford it, it doesn't matter. They simply are meant to climb higher in society. And I would happily see to it that they don't. So basically, you'd purposefully keep my dad in a rubbish job even if he proved that he was able to handle things that were way above his pay grade simply because he didn't go to college? Look, it's not fair to use your dad as an example, but if you want me to be truthful, then yes. If he hasn't been to college, then he doesn't deserve to earn more than minimum wage. I would keep him in a lower position just to make sure he and others like him knew this. Oh boy, so I guess I should tell him not to bother going to your graduation then. You wouldn't want a loser like him to show up and embarrass you. Not to mention he should probably send your graduation present back. A poor and dumb person like him simply couldn't get you anything useful. I know you're just being facetious at the minute, but yeah, I don't really want your dad there now. All of my friends would just make fun of me if he was there. Uh-huh, of course they would. Well, fine. I'll tell him. I hope it's worth it. I've got to go now. Talk to you later. Uh, yeah, sure. So, I've sorted out the florist for our wedding. She's really nice and she has the best flowers in town, including the ones that I love the most. So, that's one thing that we can check off our wedding list. Oh, and I've lined up a cake tasting at a local bakery for this Sunday, so make sure you're free for then. And I've also got to arrange a date to go looking for wedding dresses. Ah, this is so exciting. Um, yeah, it sure is. Is everything alright, Billy? You're not getting cold feet already, are you? LOL. <laughs> um, actually. What's up? Look, Alexis, you're a cool girl and all, and we've had a lot of fun. And at one point, I really did think that I could see us spending the rest of our lives together, but... Over the last few weeks, I don't know. I've started to feel a bit differently. What are you saying? It's just, if I'm going to be with someone and possibly build a future and have kids with them, I want to make sure that it's the best possible future that I can have. I want my wife to be from a smart family so that any kids we have can be smart and driven too. With your dad not going to college, it's just got me thinking that maybe you're not the girl for me. I don't want to risk having dumb or lazy children who don't go to college to get a good job like they should. Like me. Are you actually saying what I think you're saying right now? You're dumping me? Right as I'm planning our wedding, you're going to dump me? Dumping sounds kind of harsh. Maybe you just say like we've grown apart and we're going our separate ways? All of this simply because you couldn't get over the simple fact that my dad didn't go to college? It's important to me. Clearly. In fact, it's so important that you're going to leave me over it. Well, fine. If that's how you feel, then you can go and find some snooty elitist girl to look down your nose at everything with. In fact, I'm glad. If this is the kind of person that you truly are, then I think I've actually dodged a bullet with you. I didn't want us to end on bad terms. You don't get to decide how I feel or what kind of terms we end on. You want to go and be with some boring college girl, then fine, go be with one. I'll find someone much more deserving of my love. Someone who isn't so up their own butt. Alexis. Have a nice life. Alexis. Alexis, please answer me. I know it's been a little while, but I really need to talk to you right now. What do you want, Billy? How could you not tell me? Tell you what? Um, maybe the fact of who your dad actually is? What about it? Alexis, your dad is the owner of the local hospital? How could you not tell me that he was so important and clever and high up in society? When you said that he hadn't been to college, you made it sound like he was lazy or dumb. But that can't be true if he's the owner of the hospital. 
I never said that he was any of those things. You assumed he was and never gave me a chance to actually explain the situation. But how is that possible? Because my dad's a genius. He didn't need to go to college because he was smart enough to skip it. He was given an honorary college degree so that he could become a doctor, but he didn't actually have to go there and attend the lessons. That's why he was curious about what it looked like. I can't believe it. Why didn't you tell me? Because I wanted you to be with me for me, not because of who my dad is. Well, this changes everything. We can definitely get married now. Whoa, hold up. What are you on about? Getting married. It was what we planned to do. Yeah, that was before you showed me what you were actually like. Now, I don't want anything to do with you. But we, we would be good together, don't you think? I did once. Not anymore. Not after what you did. What? I told my dad what you said, and he couldn't have been more disappointed in you if he had tried. So, even if I wanted to marry you, which I don't, there's no way my dad would allow it to happen anymore. He wouldn't want me to be with someone so low class and lazy that they couldn't even be bothered to look past their ridiculous preconceptions to entertain the possibility that perhaps college isn't for everyone and people can still make their way in life without it. Well, can you at least put in a good word for me so that I can get hired at the hospital? There are only so many positions available and I really want one. Yeah, not happening. What? Why not? Well, surely you're smart enough and driven enough to get one of those spots all by yourself. After all, you have been to college. Oh, come on, don't be like that. I didn't mean anything by what I said. You meant enough, and I don't want to be associated with someone who thinks they're so much better than everyone else. I'd much rather be with someone who's kind and caring and loves me more than anything, even if he hasn't been to college. Anyway, after telling my dad what you said and did, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't hire you simply on principle alone. You mean, I've been blacklisted? I don't know, maybe. That's up to my dad. I mean, you did insult his intelligence and motivation as well. He doesn't take too kindly to that. Tell him I'm sorry that I didn't mean any of it. It was just a joke. Sorry, but you're going to have to deal with the consequences of your terrible attitude all by yourself. For a college-educated guy, you really aren't that smart. Anyway, I've got things to do, so I'm going to go now. Have a nice life. I hope you find that college-educated girl you've been wanting. Bye. No, no, wait, Alexis, please! After that, I never really spoke to Billy again. I saw him around town every now and then, but I never went out of my way to talk to him. The last I heard, he applied for a job at my dad's hospital, but even though my dad didn't personally stop him, as he's too professional for that, Billy still wasn't able to get the job as he was beaten out by other, more intelligent and capable people. Looks like going to college wasn't enough to lead him to the life that he wanted. Some people do well in college and are able to graduate and get the job that they want, whilst other people might find that an alternative route is better for them. Either way, doesn't make anyone less or more than anyone else. Everyone is different, so follow your own path.